Hey guys, my name is Ismas and welcome to another Blender exciting tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at how to make this infinite earth zoom in Blender 2.8. So uh, you can see we're zooming out from uh, this airport and then we see some birds, uh, this plane there, uh, clouds, and then uh, this uh, space station and uh, zoom out to see the entire planet. I also added in this uh, universal uh, logo here just to make it make things a bit interesting but uh, you can change it out to whatever you want uh, the project will be available to our uh, patrons uh, if you want to change it out and make it your own whatever you want to do uh, you can also find the time lapse on my second channel blender money and see the entire process from start to finish but uh, yeah let's dive in and see how to get this done so all the images used here are from google earth uh, so you can use google earth as well uh, to do this so uh, the concept here is that uh, we are zooming in from images, smaller images to larger images with different resolution because you can't really capture the resolution you need uh, by using one image. I, the ideal scenario would be to just zoom out from a single image like this and just pull out your camera uh, until you see you reveal the entire planet but uh, uh, it's very difficult to, ho to hold for an image for a single image to hold at uh, the same resolution or detail at this zoom under uh, the same resolution at uh, this zoom so that's why you have to use multiple images uh, for example in this uh, animation here what we have is that let me first hide this you can see we're using quite a few images here now, so we have a very a close-up of the airport from above so this image here is that and then as we zoom out we see other images let me just use this so we have that image this image then we zoom out we have uh, this image here uh, actually this this image here and then when we zoom out we then we are viewing uh, this image which is a different image from a different altitude uh, with a different resolution uh, to capture different uh, details because again you can't capture all the detail you want in a single image it would be too big and uh, you don't i don't think there is even a camera for that even google earth doesn't do it like that i every time you zoom in uh, they're just loading you different images at different resolutions uh, so that's what we're going to be doing uh the the hardest part of this would be to align up to sorry to align all the images so that the they look like so that is, is seamless. Uh, you can see we start with uh, this image of the airport, uh, the smallest image. And uh, you can see that uh, this small image is aligned to this here and uh, to this here. And this is also aligned to that. And uh, you, don't, you, bear, you don't even see any of the seams uh, when the camera moves can see and uh, adding these clouds and other things moving uh, makes it nearly impossible to see any seams uh, this here uh, is an artifact from Google it's not a seam itself uh, those are you can see them there they are already in the image so uh, and maybe you can just Photoshop them out if you want but uh, uh, since this is a tutorial, I'm not, I'm not doing that. So uh, let's see how to capture the images and uh, align them uh, using Microsoft Paint and uh, Google Earth and then import them as images using the uh, images. Uh, it's called images as planes add-on in Blender. So uh, make sure you turn that on, add on, enable that add-on by going to preferences and then searching images, import images as planes. Now, to capture the images, just go to Google, to Google Earth and zoom into any area you want and take images at different resolutions. So you can take uh, the image from here. Just use your keyboard, print screen uh, to screenshot the area. Go to Microsoft Paint, paste that in, crop it out, crop out the areas you want, and then save it somewhere and uh, zoom into a different level, print, do the same step, zoom in, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out uh, to however however many uh, images you want. Uh, then in uh, in Blender, after you activate the add-on, 
just go under shift a uh, image images as planes and then just find your folder where you have those images and then start importing one by one so i'll just use image one now to align these images let's import our second image which would be image two here you can see they are the same images but at a different scale uh, so now we want to align this what you want to do is uh, find the image uh, that is zoomed out more of this second image so this is image one when we are zooming in uh, a closer zoom of the airport and then this is image two where we have where we are way above uh, the airport so what you want to do is find a feature that is that stands out in both images so for example i can see this here this uh feature here we can use that uh, to align the images so what you do uh, you find it on the larger image so for example this here i know it's this here and just use your use the shift use shift and then right click to move your cursor to that position and then select that image right click origin to 3d cursor to move the pivot point of uh, that object to that 3d cursor now if i rotate or move this let me first turn off this key frames if i rotate or move this i am rotating from that point and then i just go to the smaller image find that feature move my cursor there shift right click now i select this second image shift s selection to cursor and that will align snap this image uh, to that position now i just have to scale it until everything aligns uh, you might also have to rotate different areas i'm looking at these roads uh, to make sure that they are aligned uh, sometimes especially if you're using google earth uh, some of the features are, are not going to align correctly because uh, there is some distortion in images taken by Google Earth. Uh, for example, you can see these roads are supposed to be really straight. I uh, think this, uh, this is a, a runway, but uh, you can see this wavy motion. Uh, yeah, you're going to run into that issue. They're not going to perfectly align. And uh, it's not that big of a problem since uh, our zoom, in our zoom, it's not that visible. It's not visible at all. Yeah, since we added, you might also add motion blur, so it, it will blur those edges, all those seams are uh, in case uh, they are there. So you can see, without even doing too much work, we have already aligned uh, these images. You can't really tell where they are, except in these areas where we have a lot of distortion, uh, for example, in this area. If you really wanted to be super perfect with this, uh, you can use Photoshop uh, to make sure that everything aligns correctly. Maybe we can try to hmm, make sure that uh, we actually have the right scale here yeah i think that's it because I'm, if i'm looking at if you look at these edges are uh, they aligning up correctly everything that is not aligning here is uh, just a result of the distortion uh, from google earth uh, so yeah and uh, now let's add in the second image or the th third image and align that i'm just going to align a few images and then you can do the rest on your own so we have another image at a different scale again we'll do the same thing uh, this time we have to use the second image uh, let me just bring this down so that it's not intersecting and uh, maybe move this up above just so it's not intersecting as well okay so okay so let's see what else do we need okay so now to align this image uh, with this i'm just going to use this feature here because I, I, you can see there is a good seam here between this road here and this here so i'm just going to find that on this larger image so it's supposed to be this here of my cursor there right click origin 3d geometry sorry origin to 3d cursor and then find this on this here and then shift s selection to cursor uh, this will also move this image uh, to that position so they might be intersecting so just move this down the larger image down uh, what you want to do what you want to have is uh have the smaller images on top of the larger images uh, like this you don't want anything to be intersecting as that might pose us a few issues so then now that we have that aligned i will just need to rotate 
and scale things around. I'm looking at this road here and this road, uh, this road here and this road here, uh, just to make sure that uh, they are aligning correctly. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Now you can do this for as many images as you want, but I'm just going to end here uh, as for that so that we can look at other things. So now if you want, you can add in a camera and uh, just admit it zooming out. You can see Okay, you can see the resolution of this image is not really good uh, because I think I'm looking at uh, the second image from that zoom. So I'm just going to move this to the first image so, so that we're looking at features uh, from an image of high resolution at that scale. So let's, let's start there. You can even add in a slight rotation makes things a bit look a bit better so let me just uh, add that rotation for you you can see yeah so then after that uh, to zoom out to the uh, you can add in features like clouds uh, like uh, I had in the original image here which is very simple you just use images planes again and uh, make sure you have alpha for the clouds and uh, uh, if you import them using the images planes add-on, uh, it will import everything with the alpha enabled. And make sure that uh, you turn off shadows for all the images you're going to use as you don't want to have any shadows in your scene. For example, if I made this opaque, you'll start to see a few problems at some point, you start to see the shadows of the of the different images. Let's see. I ah, can see because I've added this, I've turned on enabled shadows here. You can see the shadow of this plane. So make sure you turn that off so that you don't see uh, that. Even for the clouds, make sure you turn those off. And then to zoom out to the earth, what I did here is uh, I just animated the opac the alpha channel of this to zoom to fade in after the camera zooms out are uh, quite enough and then i just brought in the other things in there so this transition is not too perfect because i'm using alpha hashed uh, which does which kind of creates this grainy transition that i don't like but uh, uh this i tried alpha blend it doesn't seem to work correctly as I expected you can see creates a few issues uh, so I'm not sure what's wrong with that but uh, yeah so you can also just use a different program uh, like after effects I you render something out you render the earth without uh, the you render the earth or the globe the planet on its own and then just use just fade it into the scene uh, as a transition so but uh, yeah, I guess that is, that's, that's it. So if you want to, you can watch the time lapse on uh, my second channel. If you want uh, the entire project so that you can edit it and make it your own, or you can become a Patreon and request it from there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.